out the car to get back in the car. <laughs> What's up, my toy mom? It's your girls and my toy twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And today, today we are asking our parents uncomfortable, awkward questions that you were too afraid to ask your parents. Or that you wanted to ask your parents, but like it's too what uncomfortable are, to ask. What are we titling this? Questions you're too afraid to ask your parents. Okay. I think. Yeah. There's no intro to this. Let's just get to it. So the way we're going to do this is... <laughs> get... Oh, Ow, my arm hurts. I can't help you. Okay. Why am I nervous? Me and my parents only really talk about anything and everything. It's not funny. Okay, mother, introduce <sighs> yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Why go by Mama Montoya? Who are you? Joanne Montoya. Who? Mama are Montoya. You? What is your ethnicity and what is your age? German, Thai, Irish, and I'm 44. She just turned 44. Today we're going to be asking you questions other children are too afraid to ask their parents. So like, uncomfortable questions. Mm -hmm. Some of them are too uncomfortable, or I just didn't want to know. Okay. So. But if I don't want to answer anything. You get two passes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. First things first. We're starting off strong. Why is losing your virginity a big deal in a oh Hispanic household? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just in a Hispanic household? That's what they ask. It is a big deal in Hispanic households. It's a big deal, yeah, some, period. Some Not parents, really. Some parents are like, some pa a lot I'll of people be the cool mom. Let me give you a condom. Let your boyfriend sleep over. Most Hispanic households are like, you're not even allowed to have boys over. But right. I don't even know how to answer that as a Hispanic household. You, you're married I just to know. a Hispanic American. I know, but mm -hmm. I just know how me and dad raised you. I don't know that that's necessary because it's a Hispanic household because I'm not Hispanic. Okay, why is losing virginity in general such a big deal to y'all? Okay, it depends. First of all, are you married? Are you married? We're gonna get to another question. Wait, are we married? Or how old? Are, I mean, are we like how old? It's very important. Did you wait till marriage? Oh my gosh. <laughs> First of all, one, I did not have the parents that you had. I'm not answering that question. Two, there's a lot of things that you're going to do growing up that you're going to regret later on. Do you know what I mean? Like this video. Like this video. You got to have some okay. respect for yourself. At what age is it okay to be doing the you know what? Uh. <laughs> when you're married. Have you ever smoked weed? Yes. <laughs> How old were you the first time? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I was a teenager. Can you describe what the opening of your penile gland was like? I didn't open my penile gland. What did you experience? What did it feel like? How old were you? Oh my gosh, I don't remember how old I was, but I was a teenager, and I think the first time I ever tried it, like I didn't really get high. Was it like edibles? No. What are edibles? Bruh. Me and Maya have honestly never, we've never smoked weed, so I'm these scared are like too. Okay, I thought questions these were questions like I was gonna answer not about me. No, they're about you. Guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I can ask you some of those kind of questions. What age were you when you had your first alcoholic drink? Oh my gosh, I was a teenager too. Stop saying teenager, we need specifics. I was a teenager. Hmm. Is giving birth as scary as it sounds? Yes. Why? You're. Bruh. It opens up 10 centimeters. Stop it. Get some help. It is scary because you don't know what to expect and it hurts. Like the contractions take your breath away. I had Marissa when I was 19. That's me! That's me. You just, you don't know what to expect. It's painful. You don't know how long you're gonna be in labor for. Can you feel the baby like going through your system? Like going. It, when you're having contractions, your whole stomach just tightens up. No, no, the, the baby. Him, the baby. Can oh, I had an epidural. So it just felt like pressure after I had the epidural. Pressure. Am I adopted or are we adopted? One of you. I knew it. No. Why would you think that? Okay, who asked that question? We don't look like you. Well. What do you want me to do? Who's my dad? Did you really want us or were we an accident? Okay, so I don't know about the whole, did you really want us? Because when I got pregnant, it was because I had talked dad into having one more kid because I wanted a son. Mm -hmm. You got two girls. Right. So you didn't want us. So didn't want us. No, how am I supposed to? So you didn't want us. No, that's not how that we works. We were not planned. We were not wanted. We were not wanted. Okay, okay, it was planned jump. for me to get pregnant. How would I know I was going to have twin girls? 
how did you know you were gonna have a boy? If you I did. It was a risk. Either way, one you dad didn't want one of me. us. You didn't want one of us. You didn't want one of us, and you dad definitely didn't want me. the one that was a girl either. So, is being engaged at a young age, example, 18, 19, or 20, wrong? No. You wouldn't get mad if me and I were engaged right now. I wouldn't be mad. Would you be disappointed? No. I feel like you can't say much because you were married at No, it's 18. not even that. You guys are, were raised completely different than me. So I can't even like really compare you guys to me. But it's just, it's young. That's a young age to be engaged. I want to be a hot mom. Me too. I don't want to so, get married old. I want babies now. I want to be a MILF. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, I wouldn't be upset. Because it just depends, too. Like, how long have you been in this relationship? Three okay, months. so what do you consider... Three like, months! So what do you think is an appropriate time frame to get engaged? The like, ideal. Yeah, like the ideal. ideal. See, you guys are asking me questions as if it's like a general question. It can't be a general question because... It just depends on your circumstances. How long should two people at least be dating before they consider getting engaged? Oh my gosh. Ideally means like if you can- A year or two. Like if they're very serious about one another and have spent a lot of time together. Has there been a time where you wanted to beat us up? Yes. Why? Because sometimes you guys get disrespectful. Why would you want to lay a hand on something you pushed out of you? Because why would you want to be disrespectful to someone that pushed you out of them? I didn't ask you to push me out of you. And actually didn't And you push didn't you push us out of you. You want to like- like that beat us up? I just want to shake you real good. You know what I mean? Like, oh. like, ah, uh, just shake you real good. <laughs> Did having children stop you from achieving your life goals? I didn't have life goals. You well, want to be a mom? Then why would having children stop you? Then you would have achieved your goals. Okay, see, now you're talking over me. Yeah. I'm gonna talk. shake you. Growing up, what did you want to be? I did want to be in accounting. I you like numbers that much? I liked numbers. What <laughs> qualities do you want your daughter's future husbands to have? They have to be God-fearing and respectful, loving, kind, patient, and compassionate. Maybe, maybe buy you some flowers every now and then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once in a while. And then like, cause you can even ask dad cause we got married young or whatever. Or yeah, whatever, you did get married, married young. young. But for some reason it takes guys to like longer Wait, to like mature that. than girls. So like dad always says like, as soon as I had Marissa, I like turned old instantly. And it wasn't that I turned old. I just, my priorities were different and I had someone to take care of. You know what I mean? So we should date old men. Or we yeah. should get pregnant right when we start dating. Oh my gosh, I didn't see any of that. Does it hurt doing the nasty? Ah! <laughs> Your virginity. You know what? This is my theory. I, I think, think it hurts yes. if you do it before marriage. No, I, no, 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 no. Talk. I think it won't hurt if you do it according to God's will and you wait for marriage. I feel like he wouldn't let, let you have that pain. It'd just be like a slip. A slip. <laughs> <laughs> wait till marriage, kids. Virgin gang. Bruh. Those people strong. don't ever have. Bruh. Virgin gang. I just want <laughs> this bump. V for virgin. Why are you mad? <laughs> Mad. I'm not mad. Who's mad? I'm not mad. Why would you ask me that? Who's mad? Why are you always telling us to do everything? Huh? What do I tell you to do? Everything. Are these questions that they're supposed to be asking their parents? Because what do I tell you guys to parents do? Parents in general. What do I tell you guys to do? Tell me everything I tell you guys to do. Have you done body shots? Oh! <laughs> you know, I'm so mad. You never done body no. shots? <laughs> Okay, I respect you for that, Mom. Have you ever gone skinny Wait. dipping? Wait! Yes. <laughs> That's disgusting! Where? Was it at a lake? Uh, a pool? Uh -huh. In the hotel? Ew, that's so disgusting, Mom. I'm not gonna tell you. Other people swim. That's nasty. Yep. So that's you think nasty. that this little swimsuit that you wear prevents all your fluids from no, falling out? No, it's not out? all of them, but it's just like being respectful. Okay, what's up? Okay, like, I go underwater at pools. With your mouth open? Sometimes it gets in your mouth. Yes. What were some reasons you didn't want to have kids? There was never any cons that crossed your mind about being a mother. I mean, everything changes after you have a kid, for sure. I feel like you would have a lot of cons, considering you were 19 and you got pregnant. Was Marissa planned? No. You heard it Your here, finances <laughs> <laughs> were planned, Marissa. Not that you were a mistake. <laughs> Look at that. Um, That's what we need. What is that? That looks top heavy. Um, no, things just, I mean, you worry about stuff. Like, me and Dad were young. We didn't really have a plan at the time, you know what I mean? But then we figured it out. He joined the Air Force. So I need to join the Air Force to have kids? You just need to be able to support your kids. I can't do that. Watch the ads so we can have babies. <laughs> what is the secret of having a strong marriage? Oh. Boom. Ow. <laughs> My sternum. <laughs> um, strong.
strong marriage. Well, you guys both got to be on the same page as far as like your faith. Like all those things I listed earlier that I want you guys to have in a guy. Like being compassionate and God-fearing and sympathy, understanding, patience. Um, and you got to be able to compromise. Mm. Sounds too difficult. How do you know if you have the love of your life? You just know. How? What is it about feeling? Okay, so like me and dad, for instance, we're not just like husband and wife, like we're soulmates. Like we're best friends. You know what I mean? I would die for him, he would die for me. Is that corny? I heard that you meet your soulmate by the time you're 18. Really? Yes. I'm 19 and I haven't met anyone good. Maybe you've already met him. It was a joke. <laughs> oh, here's a good one for us. When is it a good time to move out of your parents' house? For those of you who don't know, me and I will be 20 in September, and we still live with mom and dad, mom and dad. Whenever you can you financially support, support yourself. yourself. Yeah, and um, it'd be nice if you could feed yourself. I made y'all food the other night. If I don't make my own food, I don't get fed. We wow. Wait, don't you think we can financially support ourselves right now? Yes, but it's not also just like money-wise. It's like handling your finances too. I was gonna pay you to do my taxes. Yeah, I was gonna pay you to do that for me. See. <laughs> If I got pregnant by someone, what would you do? Like, are you married or we're talking about like right now today? Mom, this is just a question, like right now. Because if, there if are different we answers depending on... No, because obviously if I was married and got pregnant, you would be so excited. If me and I were to get pregnant right now, what would you do? At first I would be sad. Why? Because it changes your whole life. But what if I was married right now and got pregnant? You'd still be sad? Probably not. Could you imagine it, a baby still two changes different your life? No, they're two different circumstances though. Why would you be sad? I don't know. They're just different scenarios. And then two, for instance, like right now, like you guys got a lot going on for yourselves right now. You so, so if you got pregnant right now, it would change. <laughs> I think if we got pregnant any time in our lives, it would change a lot of things. Yes, for sure. But like right now specifically, I mean, it'd make a good YouTube video. Stop! <laughs> When is the right time to have a baby? When now. You're married? Okay, right but now. so, like, Marissa wasn't planned, correct? If you never got pregnant with Marissa at that time, how long would you have waited? I don't know. Because, like, me and Dad didn't even get to experience, like, the whole being 21 thing. Like, it doesn't matter. I mean, so we you did, we did later. All of your life goals? No, that's not even a big deal. <laughs> Can I stop going to college? You don't go to college. <laughs> oh, that's a good question, Mom. Are you disappointed that none of your daughters went to college? None of your kids. No. Really? You don't, you don't care? No. How did y'all meet, and how was the first date, and where? We met at the mall. Mimi at the club. It's going down. I'm Mimi trying to think because we didn't really talk to each other at the mall it's going though. Down. Meet me in the club. Okay, are you gonna ask Dad the same down. question? Okay. Cause he's gonna make it like Joanne was like just be known the dad was looking at me and I was like who is that and my friend told me that's Andres he was with a friend that my friend knew so she called him over and said like I was checking out dad or whatever dad when he walked off he turned around he told me to call him okay Did you hear his no right there? I'm just gonna say it cuz he's gonna make me look like so like I was a stalker <laughs> So it's just a coincidence that, okay, well, first of all, y'all met up later that day. No, I went to my friend's house and I called somebody and I didn't know she knew him. And she actually told me he was dating somebody else and to stay away from him or whatever. To stay away from dad? Yes. <laughs> But what was weird was that dad showed up like an hour later at the house next door to us. Because I used to hang out all over there with this, this dude. I'm not going to say any names. Next to my friend's house. So then when I saw that dad was outside, I was like, That's weird. Mom. No, I was like, Mom, you standing outside of the house. You stole the chicks, man. Okay, well, first of all, listen. So then I would tell my friend, I said, Give me the keys to your car. I'm going to go out there and get your purse real quick so that he could see me. How come I've never heard this? <laughs> Like, hollered my name and it went from there do you know what I mean so but when he tells it he's gonna explain to you how I got like his phone number and like all this stuff it's whatever it was both sides so dad had a girlfriend and he started they were, and he was a favorite girlfriend yeah dad's a little but mom's also a little stalker she's just my mom picking out the window no I was the window. we were sitting on the porch and he pulled up that's like, weird that we was a coincidence I don't know it was weird that is so weird she lived right next door I mean, to the a place aunts? that they all hung out. Wait, was he with that girl there? No. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Nope. So when did you get his number? That day. After he hollered at you? Yeah, I think he gave me his number. He had to have, because that girl didn't want me talking to him. <laughs> Mom's a hungry. Mom, <laughs> Whatever. Okay, mom, um, I have to kick you out. <laughs> Thank goodness. I didn't even get to use my passes. Okay, I'm gonna use the pass on the skinny <laughs> dipping and the the skinny dipping. I plead the fifth. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, so she's fine. Dun 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 dun! No! What are you wearing? <laughs> you really changed 
Yes. Put on my hoodie. It's cold out here. This is not merch, by the way, guys. Dad went and got uh, this made. No, I made this. Dad made it, and he went and got it printed on it. No, I made it. You made it? Are you ready for these questions, Dad? Sure. What, did Mom warn you? No, she just came in laughing. Okay, first question, Dad. Why is losing your virginity a big deal in a Hispanic household? I think it's a big deal in any household, isn't it? No. No, because some parents are like... The fun parents. The fun parents. Yeah, your boyfriend can sleep in your bed naked yeah, you with you. Yeah, you spend the night with your boyfriend at 15. Well, I don't like to generalize. You know, I don't like to do that kind of stuff, but no. I was raised in a Hispanic household, so Hispanics have a lot of pride. So you, you blend that with, you know, being a father, loving your children, wanting the best for them, trying to raise them according to scripture. But I feel like all of our Hispanic family, including like Marissa and Mom, they all had kids at really young ages. So yeah, but it all depends on your environment the way you were raised So mama was raised by her stepdad and her real dad and her mom and Marissa She left the house at 18 as on her 18th birthday. She was mad at me She rebelled so she went and did her thing you guys seen all that you were privy to all that And so I understood when she left I was like man, she really hates me. So I tried to change hey, It's a very strong word. No, Marissa hated me. Babe. She, she hated she me. loved you dad. Psych! She, she loves me now. She might have highly disliked you at the no. time. Ask her that chick hated me. Let's ask her. Let's ask her. I just forgot to introduce Dad. Oh. Oh, everybody knows who I am. Yeah, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello. What's my introduction? Say your name, Say your, your age, and your ethnicity. My name's Andres Montoya. Andres Ezequiel Montoya. OG I'll be Padre. OG Padre. It's my handle. Follow me, please. What? <laughs> what else? Um, I'm 44. I'll be 45 in July. And uh, I'm Chicano. Let's just ask her. Marissa. Yes. We're filming, by the way. Did you hate Dad at one point in your life? Yes. <laughs> I told you. They didn't believe me, Ma. Why did you hate Dad? Lack of reason. What age were you, babe, when you hated me? Oh, like 14, 15. That was before she moved out. So what about when you moved out at 18? Yes, yeah, so I did you mention. Okay, so 14 through, how old, babe? Like 19, 20. Damn! Oh my gosh, that was Six reason. years. <laughs> Dang. But you love him now, huh, Marissa? Oh, yeah, I love my dad now. We've always loved you, Dad. Yeah. Cool. Love you, bye. Love you, Dad. Love, love you, baby. Love you, guys. Love you, baby. <laughs> love you, Mama. Dad, at what age is it okay to be doing the, you know what? I don't think you put an age on it. It's somebody's personal preference. Correct. But I will tell you this. Children shouldn't even be acknowledging or even thinking about none of that. So if you're a child at 14, you shouldn't even be thinking about that. And if you're still a child at 22, you shouldn't even be thinking oh, about so that. Oh, so you're thinking maturity-wise, not necessarily number legal. 18. Yeah, absolutely. You're supposed to know who you are. You're supposed to know who you are you are before you give yourself to somebody. Have you ever smoked weed? Yes. How old are you? <laughs> when I tried it or when I smoked? What? Was it edibles the first thing you tried or something? Nobody had no edibles back in my day. So then what do you mean tried it? Tried it and then, then smoked. Well, you just grabbed the Well, weed there's a difference. Okay, so when I tried it, it didn't do nothing to me. That's what That's mom, mom said. So then I tried it again. So I don't think you could try something twice. I think my third time I actually felt something. My first two times, I was like, this is nothing. So no, how no. old are you when you first tried it and it didn't hit? 16, 17. Wowza. But back then, we, it wasn't like a big deal, you know what I mean? It's a drug. I mean, back then, a lot of my family, it was common. Why is it not common in our household? I don't really like weed. Can we make it common? You're 19. <laughs> you're an adult. I'm kidding. Would you get mad, Dad? Would you get mad if me and Maya were out somewhere and we came out and we told you we smoked? Yes. Why? Because Dad wants us, to, if we were to try it, to try it with him. Because sometimes people lace things. Like I say, you don't even know what it's going to do to you. Right. Right. So say, okay, so say we had... We're adults. We can smoke you're, if we wanted to. You're educated about it now, right? And you know mm -hmm. how it affects you? Would you get mad if we went out and smoked like with friends? Yes. Why? Because when you're high, your your mindset ain't sharp, right? Okay, so you're a product of me. And what weed would do to me is make me paranoid. If I'm out and about and I'm paranoid, I'm not thinking rationally. So I don't want you out and about being paranoid and doing something to harm yourself or harm somebody else. If you're ever going to try it, you're going to be with me when you try it. I, I can almost guarantee you're not going to like it. I feel like I'd cry a lot. Other people like in, that enjoy it, it doesn't hit me like that. That's why I like beer. Like okay. Soda. Stay with soda. Soda. I haven't had it in two months. <laughs> okay, Dad. So, like, who's our dad, though? Who's your real dad? Mm -hmm. Did your mom tell you that? Or? <laughs> That's not funny. Y'all look just like I you. I almost cried about? right there. <laughs> what age were you when you had your first alcoholic drink? That's a different question. <laughs> because like when we grew up and we go to picnics and people were drinking and stuff, it wasn't nothing for your dad to give you a swig of beer or something at eight, nine years old. Okay, so... <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> 
Oh my god. Because it wasn't that big a deal. So when did you start like drinking though? Like, like without your parents there? 16, 17. Oh my god. Yo, that's rad. Babe, that's that's old compared to a lot of my friends. You were a bad big. child. That's no, old? No, I wasn't. I was really good. Then huh? I'm perfect. Where? You guys are really <laughs> good kids. Yes, you are. And you're very good young ladies, yeah. Is giving birth as scary as it sounds? I've never given birth, so I don't know. <laughs> you sure? Positive. But for me? <laughs> yeah, how was your side of it? Both times, because they both were Different. Being there with mama, you talking about when she was giving birth or conception? Ew, no, not conception. Oh, okay, no. well, you gotta be clear in what you're talking about. When I was there with mama when she was giving birth, I felt I hope very... you were there with mama when she was conceiving us. <laughs> Yeah, I would. The first one was very scary because me and her were in the military and we were by ourselves in San Angelo. And then this time we were in Clovis with you two. That was scary because she had to have a C-section. And there was and, two of us. And there was two of y'all and you guys were preemies overall. Did you ever came out right. like almost faint? I almost fainted the first time when they gave your mama an epidural. Oh, because you watched? I watched. It's that big old needle that goes in her spine. No, thank you. <clears throat> Did you really want us or were we accidents? You weren't accidents. After Marissa, mama wanted a boy. And I kept telling her, I don't know why I knew, but I knew I wasn't going to have a son. You, you spoke, spoke it into existence. Yes. You, you said you weren't going to have a son. I, I don't know. It. Okay, but I felt it first before I spoke on it. And then after that, she found out she was pregnant with twins. And I was You're like, I told you, so I told you. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, some serious karma. Like, oh, what did y'all yeah. do? It was rough, life. man. Is being engaged at a young age wrong? Like 18, 19, 20. And like I said, that's generalizing. <laughs> so like each, you gotta understand, each person is different. It's Everybody true. is different. In my particular situation, when I met your mom, for whatever reason, I knew that that was gonna be my wife. I just knew it. Like after the first, maybe the first week we talked, hung out, got to know each other, I was like, oh man, I told her. That's so weird. Yeah, it's weird. And she thought it was weird too, but I just knew. She's like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't engaged long. You know, we knew each other 11 months before we actually got married. That's insane. We met each other other we liked each other we hung out like all the time I dropped my friends she dropped her friends we just hung out with each other and then she was in the military her mom and dad and they were about to PCS so permanent you... change of station so they were about to leave and I was like, I don't want you to leave because I don't want to go either I said like, what do we do I say well let's just join the Air Force so me and her were gonna join the military but then but while we're... Get separated? they try to keep you together but yeah we could have got it separated but we didn't care we just wanted to be together and that was the only thing that we thought we could think to get insurance have a career get together but then what ended up happening his mama got pregnant within those 11 months before we were both gonna join and so I joined by myself dad did you wait till marriage wait till marriage for what you know the and the <laughs> <laughs> no I didn't ah, sinner dad yeah. what's wrong with you like We're I said you're, you're a product of your environment man uh -huh. you know what I mean? I'm waiting till marriage. Yeah, I know because we have a real good relationship. You have a good relationship with your parents, with your folks. So, like, it's, it's something that you hold sacred. I don't do it because y'all. Oh, I know you don't, Mom. You did it because of us before you came to this maturity level where you're just like, I want to do this for me. It's probably not even that. It's <clears throat> probably just because I'm scared. <laughs> hey, there's, there's every reason to be, too. <laughs> Has there been a time where you wanted to beat us up? You and Micah? Yes. I mean, you kind of let your anger get the best of you. And I don't want to beat y'all up, but I definitely. <laughs> want to shake the shit out of y'all. No! That's what mom said! Mom said! What she said she wanted to shake it! Oh my god. That's what she did. Y'all are weird. Y'all are more weird than me and Micah. Yeah, we're just partners. Did having children stop you from achieving your life goals? I didn't really have any life goals, you know? I wanted to be an architect. What? An architect? Mm-hmm. But that, like I said, I met your mom 11 months later. We were married off into the military. 11 minutes later? 11 months. <laughs> 11 months. What qualities do you want your daughter's future husbands to have? I want them to have a really profound relationship with God because God is love and if they know what love is, they know how to give them themselves to show love to their family, their friends, everybody around them. And the only way to do that is to have faith that scripture is from God and that scripture can reveal, you know, your Holy Spirit in you. I don't want to ask this one. Yeah. No, don't ask that. that yeah. You want, me, you, want to, you want me to read it to myself? No, it no, it doesn't apply to you. To you. Oh, okay. But neither to the giving birth. <laughs> Dad, why are you mad? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. 
<laughs> you said we were mad. I was mad. It just says, it just says, why, why are you, you mad? mad? <laughs> why are you always telling us to do everything? Like what? Do the dishes. Take you out don't the trash. do the dishes. <laughs> the you don't take out the trash. What else do you not do that other kids do? You don't do we're that stuff. We're not kids, Dad. It's not called us kids. You're my kids. We're gonna be twenty. You're not, you're not children, but you're my kids. I'm referring to my perspective. Like you don't do no chores other than clean your own room. Well, because we're clean kids, so we don't yeah. really have to do. Chores. Well, it's not only that, but like we're a team here. So me and Mama cook, we clean. I don't think people realize how much work goes into these videos. Yeah. Like you spend a lot of time on these. Oh, look at the rabbit. Y'all spend a lot of time on these videos, man. We'll just pick up the slack on the chores. Have you done body shots? No. Really? Really. Good. That's Considering so that you were a player, that is Play surprising. Who said I was a player? Your mama says that. Dad showed us his yearbook pictures <clears throat> the other day, and you could just tell he was one of those dudes that you Hey, wait, like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. You got it. I was never a player. I had... I had uh, a lot of people that like me, and I like a lot of people. <laughs> I was gonna ask him this one because what if it was with mom? It was. Have you ever skinny dipped? Yes. I was gonna I was say, say no. I'm like, mom skinny dipped with someone else. <laughs> she said she did? Yeah. yeah. It was me, mom. <laughs> Not at the lake that y'all would take us fishing, right? No, a no, public no. pool. <laughs> no, it wasn't a public pool. Grandma Grandpa's pool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> skinny dipped at your parents' house? Yes. We swam Pool. And your grandma almost caught us. <laughs> they did while well, they were there. I don't think they were there, but she came. She showed up or something. I was not expecting her to show up, up at her house. At house. <laughs> <laughs> what were some reasons you didn't want to have kids? Um, just like I guess suffering. You know, don't want to see y'all like go through oh. stuff. <laughs> No, no, because when you have children, like you love them more than you love yourself. To see those people go through that stuff, you know, it's. It's not good. You won't know until you have your own children. You'll be like, oh, okay, I know what my dad said. Which will be soon. What I keep getting from y'all is that we need to have children to experience life. Yes. So I need to have kids ASAP. If that's what you're getting from it, then you're missing the whole point. What is the secret of a strong marriage? A secret. I don't think there is a secret. Because there's no such thing as like a perfect marriage. A strong marriage. Well, and a lot of kids in our generation, their parents are divorced. And you guys have been married for like 50 years. Yeah, what but is you're... What's secret? Like I said, there's no secret. You guys know like what happens when the camera's not around. So you guys know that me and mama are not perfect and our marriage is not perfect. Like we battle, you know? But there's some stuff that happens in your house that you just don't talk about because they're private. They're not secret, they're private. So I just won't give up on your mom for whatever reason. And I guess she feels the same way because she's still with me. And I think that's the secret. She said you broke up with her a few times before y'all got married. I did. <laughs> How do you know if you have the love of your life? Well, I can't speak for a woman. I can only speak for me. Correct. A man. Uh, a man. And in my opinion, I think the man finds the, the woman. woman. You know, people might disagree and that's fine. But I know some people that get married because either they got pregnant or their parents like that person, but they don't even really like that person. So now they're say, married, you know, a few years later and it's like, man, I'm not even happy. I want to say the man finds the woman. I feel like the man chooses the woman, right? Some girls are and they go oh, out of true. their way and pick the dude and then that dude ends up really falling for them you know what i mean well there's a difference you're talking about like the first move yes okay so the first move has nothing to do with the man choosing that chick that's what yeah, you're that's saying what I'm asking. so, so I'm the saying, man chooses the, the man wife not chooses fine, the necessarily fine right it's not really complicated but that's why you guys are in the situation you're in because your dad tells it to you straight when some dude comes up to you with some bs you're like oh my dad told me about that simple if guys ever do come up <laughs> you know guys always hitting y'all up <laughs> when is it a good time to move out of your parents house when you feel it's time okay dad can we stop going to college <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? Okay, here we go. How did you and mom meet and how was the first date? When and where? Okay, we met at the mall in Clovis called The Hall because you know how small it is. Me and my boy Chris were there and she was there with her friend Brittany and um, I heard about her because she was new in town, you know. And everybody knows everybody. Yeah, I mean, especially like military people, you know, and you go to school downtown, everybody knows you're new. So I had heard about her from my friends. And then when I seen her in the mall, I was like, hey, you know, she's pretty. So I seen her and I did her like that. You did her what? Like that. 
Just call me. I ain't telling him. I just did it like that. How's she supposed to call you with that number? She wow, called me. Dad. How? How? She kind of made it sound like she found your number. Then. She found my number. Clovis is small, so she found my number. It's not hard. Well, it all went down. Like, how did y'all come about to, hey, let's go on a date? Yeah. Because there's more to her story. I don't think we had a date. Okay, so we met at the mall. I did her like that. She called me. I don't know how she found my number, but she called me. Come to find out, she just like, I think she just lived. Oh, she lived over there by her cousin. So then a couple days later, I was at my friend's house. And and she was two houses down visiting. Me and my buddy were in the car on the street and she so happened to know that we were out in the car. Cause there's a bunch of people just hanging out. So she went out to her car to go get a purse. And I remember her from the mall. So when I seen her come out the house to go to the car, I got out the car, rolled down the road and said, hey girl. Cause I think we had already talked. So then we started talking again. Then we exchanged the numbers then and then we started hanging out. She deliberately came out the house, she told me later to get some, yeah. a purse. And she didn't get no purse, she just wanted me to notice her. Yes, she told then me Then I told her, hey girl, what's up? And then we really started hitting it off after that. <laughs> That's what everybody's like, how did she get you? <laughs> Clovis is small. It's tiny. I was in the phone book. It's not hard. Everybody knew where I lived. It's, it's real easy to find somebody in that little town. Were you in a gang? <laughs> no. <laughs> I no. screenshot that question specifically because someone so told everyone that you were in a gang and that she felt threatened by you. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did. I'm not even a violent person. Everyone's scared of you, Dad. I'm not, I'm not a violent a mean person. Look. I'm only mean when I need to be mean and I mean when people... Bean. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm protected of you guys and mama and Marissa and you know but Marissa now has Jose and he protects his family so I'm just protecting so my family. Jose's in the game. Jose might be in the game. Okay <laughs> dad last and final question. Okay. Can we go on birth control? I think you talk to your mom about that. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to. Cramps dad. It it and it helps with acne and stuff. Look. <laughs> Would you be upset if we were to go on birth control? I'd be upset on the intentions of going on birth control. Acne! Cramps! You'd already be on it then. No, because you guys haven't given us permission. You're 19, you don't need our permission, Goober. You're right! So I could just do whatever then. You're 19, Smoke Ma. Me, you can drink, go on birth control, have babies, join a gang. <laughs> do what you want to do. What's that? <laughs> You know what that is? Tell what it is, Dad. It's a spider doing push-ups on a mirror. <laughs> I think that's all the questions. Should we go inside and ask Mom about the birth control real quick? Mom, can we get can we get on birth control? For what? Cramps and acne. Okay, you don't have acne. Okay, and cramps. You can warm up rice in a sock for your cramps. <laughs> Asian <laughs> mom. Choke you, choke you. Oh, I said shake. I said shake you. Choke you, choke. Mom, Dad said that he'd shake us and not beat us too. You did? I said the exact same thing. <laughs> You asked him all the same questions as me? Yeah, he said you were a stalker and you found his number. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you asked him about the skinny dipping? Yeah. They're asking me about being a player and treating girls bad or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were bring we didn't ask him that. We just said play a player and he got so defensive. Huh? Did they give you options to pass two questions? They didn't give me no options. <laughs> On this, I saw you at the mall. You said, call me. No, I didn't say anything. I did you like that. What does this mean? Oh, in Hawaii. No, it's... what is this? <laughs> no, I did it like this. She called. You okay, called. I know, but it wasn't before you showed up. So what's story. the point in that story then? If I called you a, a day later or two it days later. Listen, you're not even listening. You don't remember stuff. Yellow. What? It's yellow. <laughs> How see, did I get your number? See, so what does this have to do? We tell the story all the time, right? Yeah, that's what happened at the mall. But that's How the whole point. Do you that have story, a strong marriage again? Me. What's the secret to a strong marriage again? Listen, it doesn't matter. He asked me to marry him. That's all that matters. <laughs> that's it for this week's video, guys. Me and Maya don't want to drink. We don't want to smoke. We don't want to go on birth control. We don't want to drink. We're not. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> we were just asking questions that you guys wanted us to ask mom and dad. And mom and dad wouldn't expect us to ask them those. I can't look at my parents the same now, but Why? we asked the questions for you guys. Y'all skinny dip in the pool. We swam in so growing we, up. First of all, your grandma's gonna watch this. <laughs> we don't know. No. I think she kind of knew. She knew. But she, she didn't want to say nothing. She didn't say nothing. You know what my mama knows, so. She, 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 I, I already know who grandma, but like, did she watch this? <laughs> Are you guys okay? You need towels? Andres is getting cold! <laughs> you guys! <laughs> this week's post notification shout out goes to Margaret with this 
last name that we cannot pronounce. Winajiku. <laughs> Winajiku. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's it for this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is everything Margaret did. Subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Follow your girls on IG. And uh, comment tacos down below. Adios, amigos. And as always, stay beautiful, my loves. My line. Don't hit my line.